A, it's the holistic travel nurse. Let's see if I have a little better light if I turn this on. Can you see me a little better? Because my hair is up in a hat. And so I'm trying to record this. And if you hear the dog, see the dog in the background with her new toy. It's just so excited. Um, so in this video, we're going to talk about keto snacks. Because people will need a review before you go out and buy money if you're going keto and you want a keto snack. So, this is the Quest tortilla style protein chip. If you're non dairy, it's gonna be hard to have some snacks, but I'll give you some options when it comes to keto and snacks and what I've liked and what I have not liked. Now, we all have different taste buds, so I'm just gonna try to describe each item. Gonna need some water, in my opinion, for this, but they're, everything at this keto snacks are pricey too, but not bad. Um, then I got Chumps. Chumps is the name of the brand. And this is quite yummy. This is sea salt. Um, get your protein up. There we go. So you can see me better. Protein up. Beef stick. Pretty good. Um, on the go when I'm really, really busy. This is good because I'm still snacking. There are people who want to intermittent fast and don't snack and have their meals. I have a busy life. Very busy life. And so if I do that, but I'm still not keto adaptive. We've gone in and kind of out of it. So when you're first getting keto adaptive, you might need some snacks. And so this video is for you. And I'm sorry, but probably you can't see my face very well. There you go. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Computer technology. Um, Parmesan crisp. So different stores, you're going to find different stuff. And so the zero carbs on this, and so this is pretty good. Um, and they taste okay, but again, you, if you have a problem with dairy, this is not going to be the best thing for you. Um, I got these kind of online. The Stoked Bars, net four carbs, really crunchy. And obviously I do everything gluten-free, and I believe these are all gluten-free because I can't touch gluten. So everything I'm going to be talking about, yep, and it says on my back, all gluten-free. Um, ingredients, almonds, and it's got chicory root. I mean, it's got good stuff in it. Um, it does have some milk product, and they're okay. They're okay. I'm um, on a scale of 1 to 10, i give it a 6, okay? i give this a 6. This is called the Stokey Bar. So if you look those up, those are pretty good. I just got just the cheese, crunchy toasted cheese, only one ingredient, very low carb snack to age cheese. Me and a friend of mine, she was telling me about these, and they're pretty good. They're not bad. They're, if again, if you can do dairy. If you can't do dairy, then you're in bad voodoo's. If you still have a little problem with dairy, I really highly suggest taking a digestive enzyme. And if you're over the age of 30, you should be taking a digestive enzyme. So, those. Those are some of my keto snacks. I gotta go put them up so the dogs don't get them because my dogs love cheese. Wait, there's more. There's more. There's more keto. Oh, not the dogs. Sorry. <laughs> the dogs are like, what? What are we getting, Mom? These are Parmesan Pepperidge Farm. And so, if you miss your chips and salsa. I don't know how about dipping this in salsa, but this is pretty good. You know what I like as a snack and if I was at home? Radishes and then guacamole. Make your guacamole and cut your radishes slices and make those as your chip. I mean the quests are kind of expensive, so that's another great idea is make your guacamole. You're getting your good avocado and then your radishes um, are great for you. And you still need to eat vegetables. There's all these people that have heard about keto that are not eating any vegetables. I'm sorry, you still need your phytonutrients from vegetables. Okay, let's talk about a review of one that I think is gagging you down. Sorry people who um, started the company. Love good fats, peanut butter, and it makes it look like it's supposed to be super smoothie inside. My dogs think they're going to eat it. No, um, not at all. It has to stay in the fridge and it's super me and my friend both tried it and were like, oh. but then I had another friend try it and she got it down and liked it. So it's chalky to me. 
and not smooth. Again, another flavors when it comes to the crisp. My dogs are on me. My crispy, my palm crispies, those are pretty good. Now, one incredible thing you can do, which I don't know why my dogs are not gonna, but celery and either peanut butter or your almond butter. I love this as a snack, you guys. I love my celery and my peanut butter and almond butter. It's like my go-to, one of my go-to and yummy, yummy things. I like the crispiness. Also, you can do a cream cheese um, mix of like garlic or whatever in your cream cheese and make your own cheese thing and do your celery stick in it. Super good for you if you can do dairy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Um, obviously, just eating cheese. That's what they're freaking out about. My dogs love cheese. Um, and so cheese, and if you're new, new, new to keto, get yourself a pickle. You need, whoops, you need yourself um, some sodium and you need um, your hydration. If you're not on a supplements and whole food supplements, please check out more on my channel. I have a lot of videos on that. I will put them in the link below. And last but not least, we make peanut butter cookies, but I want something sweet. I do like this zero keto bark. Let's see, let me open it up for you. These are all, all these things are very low carb. And so if you are a diabetic, this is great snacks for you. Um, and this, my dogs are looking at me. Mmm. 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 Yummy, 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 yummy. I wish they didn't make it a peppermint, but. I will tell you how to figure out how to make it, but it's smooth, it's yummy, it's chocolatey, it's not like your Hershey's bar because it is dark chocolate, um, but it's really good. And so that is a yummy treats and snack ideas if you're going keto. I hope you check out more of my videos and definitely email me at holistictravelnurse at gmail.com. Check out my podcast again at Holistic Travel Nurse on um, iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcasts. I have some great interviews. I have a lot of education and some fun facts about taking care of your body and taking care of it naturally. So are you enjoying your keto snacks? You tell me in the comments below which ones you really like and which ones you really hate. Thanks.